The dogs are ready to run. These dogs love it. If they couldn't run, they would they wouldn't have anything to do at that point. They just they love what they're doing and you can see that when they go out and go up to the line because they're all excited to go. The Morowski family has traveled over 36,000 kilometers east from Alaska to be here for the South Slave Arctic Winter Games. Being in the industry, you learn a few things. We don't feed them the morning before the race. It's pretty much the only thing I would do differently. Some mushers would probably do that too. It's just so they don't poop on the trail. But hitting the Arctic Games trail along the Hay River wasn't so easy. I am the main handler. <laughs> According to official AWG rules, a minimum of four different regions are needed for dog sledding. In 2016, host Greenland did not offer the sport because of low enrollment. This year, with only two teams in the running, Alaska and the NWT will win silver and gold in all categories. And I basically said, you know, that's going to be tough to do because we're already prepared, we've already paid, we've got sponsors, we've got all this stuff done, and you can't just cancel it at the last minute. Scott Murawski says there are many obstacles facing the dog race industry. Climate change is, is creating issues for having enough snow. And our club has gotten smaller because for two years we didn't have any races. It was a warm day, so my dogs were a little, a little tired, a little thirsty the whole time. But um, otherwise it went pretty good. The family weren't always mushers, but when the opportunity struck, they decided to learn a little northern culture. I mean, it's a tradition. I mean, the dog sledding started out as a means of transportation, as a means of doing work. The dogs are done racing and it's time to rest up for the rest of the week. Uh, I try to pace my team to a slower pace. They're not just like burning all their energy and they're just being super tired. Mushers say they are hoping for cooler temperatures and gold ulus for the rest of the week. Tamara Pimentel, APTN National News, Hay River.